Hello there everyone and welcome back to 1429 this mod set in the hundred years war uh, let's not dwell on other stuff and keep looking forward and our march on Paris is continuing two castles stand in the way this is one of them and I do believe we're gonna be able to take it quite easily well, that's the plan, anyways. I've assembled quite a nice army. And we should be able... ...to take on these walls without problem. Although the English longbowmen... ...there's a reason why they're famous. At them! Yeah, the flank fire from the uh, British longbowman. Or the English longbowman. Really something. Oh, crap. The angle that arrow hit me. I want to get the uh, archers up closer so we get the angle on the English bowman. So they hopefully can take them down and stop the flank fire on my men. Especially this tower is the one that's really a concern. We have to 12 men dead at this point. And look at how the troops are stationed inside the castle. Once we're actually in, we're gonna have to face off with uh, even more arch crap. What's this? What is it? Did it crash? Cut. Oops! I almost shot one of my men. Well, we managed to get through somewhat. No one th didn't think it was going to be uh, easy taking. Well, I said it was going to be easy. Actually. Crap! Once again, I get hit by those archer bastards. It's not from that side, it's that guy behind me. Ah, oh, crap! Ugh. Stop stepping on me! Well, I get, can guess I can let them attack for a bit more, but damn those English archers. And then once we're through, we've got one group there, one group down there by the gate, and one group over there, and some over there as well. But this will be good to know for the next assault. Once again, onto the walls. This time, however, we come in the night. And I think we're gonna see about maybe sending our crossbowman, archer, and uh, arquebusiers up first. And see if we can't take down some of the archers before our men charge in. Right now it looks to be going well. Why haven't you equipped your crossbow? Right. Damn, that's a lot of fire going on. Ooh, there's a lot of fire going for me. Infantry charge! Cavalry charge! The crossbowmen are getting absolutely destroyed down there.
should have some Pavis crossbowmen. They can protect themselves behind shields. We're gonna have to go in sword in hand. Try to get in. Damn it. Out of my way, fools. Now I really should have a shield. Let your lord pass through. Macemen will charge through. Damn the bastards. Get through, man. Feels like I'm about to fall off here. If only a little bit more, then I'm in combat. On my way. Let me through. There we go. Let's push our way through. Out of my way, English knights. I'm going to infiltrate the castle. And I'm going to take out as many of those archers as possible. To aid. Oh. You fool! To stand against me? Although my sword is a bit too big. To actually fit inside here, or to fight properly. There's hard fighting going on there. But I think that just a little bit more, and then our men are through. We have, however, lost 54 men. That is... must be some sort of record-breaking amount of death, I must say. Maybe I should specifically try to uh, hire uh, English peasants and train them to be longbowmen. Because the English longbowmen seem to be killing everything. Ah, my men are through, finally! Crap. Let's see if we can... F Ooh, they're... If I charge through, they're gonna shoot me with a those bolts and at this range they'll go straight through me everyone charge let's see if we can get the archers up to help me here so ah I can take the shield actually or m oh I maybe destroyed it I did. Right, you go with it. Cover me with the shield. And then there's one bastard hanging outside the window. Trying to kick them off. Ah! <laughs> 
You're good at that blocking stuff. How are you about taking this to your face? The castle is ours! But at a heavy cost. I've lost a lot of troops. And you are my prisoner? Uh, luckily though, there's quite a few people uh, that were locked up here that I can recruit into my army. There's a lot of people here. Do, 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 do. Sergeant of the Freelancers. I'm not too interested in taking prisoners. I've got enough as it is. Right. Since we want to continue this pretty rapidly and go for the next castle. I'm gonna see about uh, having the king given this to me. Oh, actually how many men do I have right now? <sighs> how many men did I have before? I probably lost quite a lot, but luckily I regained quite a few. Anyways, I think we'll do a cut here until everything's settled so I can continue on. <laughs> right, we got a bit of a problem. The English are laying siege to this castle, which I just ta uh, have taken. And uh, then the uh, Bretonians have laid siege to Burge. So I would want to go and protect that town. But I don't want to leave this to be capped easily by the English. So we're going to go ahead and smash the English. Even though they're twice our numbers. With the amount of macemen I have. This should be a rather simple affair. We'll have the archers actually stationed right here on this little hill. We'll tell the macemen to charge and I'll take control of the cavalry. Cavalry! On me! Why did that bastard dismount? Bloody fool. Follow me! To glory! Charge! Oh, look at that. Who is this fancy gentleman? That was... Bartholomeo the Borges. Something. The English can't uh, use their bloody bowmen as well in this battle. As they do in this, their sieges. They need time to set up their positions. Right. There's so many routing. Let's concentrate our force again. Yeah, the enemy has turned up. Let's get everyone back in order. And prepare to strike. The second English force. Charge again! There's going to be a lot more Englishmen routed this time around, but as long as they do not come back to fight me again, 
I'm fine with that. Cut you to shreds. Damn it! My horse! Then we got bastardly uh, archers firing on me. Save me, troops! I am in danger! Damn it! The archers keep hitting me. Someone take care of those archers. Yeah, now the archers are doing their work when there's no one of my men that are assaulting them. <laughs> God darn it. We probably lost. An unnecessary amount of men by not harassing their uh, archer force. That's the problem with enemies routing. There should be like a command to tell the troops not to chase routing troops. There's one little archer left. Then the problem is when when because my cavalry runs away and follows the routing men uh, as soon as the enemy routes how many men with 25 men and we took out half the enemy force one more of these battles Actually, cavalry on on this side was uh, what I was looking. It's big open space. Archers there. Infantry on this side. Actually, cavalry on me. Infantry charge. Follow me, cavalry. We'll go straight through their center. I think my horse... Yeah, my horse did not fare well when he was cut down in the last part there. Cavalry charge! Cut their archers to shreds. Yeah, once again, those two people that have been killed was killed by uh, by uh, English archers. Right, they're running away. I want the cavalry to regroup and I want the infantry to regroup. And archers, I want you to move further. Oh, there's actually someone still standing. Come here, you bastardly. Okay, let's go again. And then the entire force runs after these fools. Let's see if I can get a better horse. Just pick this one up. No, stop, horsey. I should see if I can buy one of these. 
I should have enough uh, prisoners to sell. Actually losing a surprising amount of troops um, right now. I wasn't expecting this much, but we have lost a lot of men, and we lost a lot of men in that siege. And then after this we obviously gonna go and relieve another siege where we got an entire army. The army of the Bretonians have set up. So we're gonna have to uh, go and relieve that siege. Which is uh, definitely gonna be costly. And the question is if I will have enough men to actually uh, break that force. So many of these I just capture. It's like capture and release. It's not fishing, it's supposed to be war! I almost would feel like uh, doing a coup to kick out the French king and take over myself. But that would be too m much of a task if I'm not even uh, being able to hold out against uh, some of our enemies and then to uh, try to conquer everything from scratch. Let's see if we can get a few peasants. Uh, the battle has already started. And they've already killed off quite a lot of troops. There's only 500 though. So, uh, this should go our way, but the thing is, we won't have enough men to continue on to our campaign, which is the problem I've been having. We need peace. We're definitely gonna need peace if we are to uh, succeed with this. I, n I must beg the uh, French king to make peace with one of the factions or two of them so we ac actually can recuperate and uh, fight back in, uh, in a proper way. Well, we all know, I think, how it's going to go looking and how much green it is, so uh, let's not waste time uh, just grinding through here. And so there we have it. We dealt with this attack as well. And even more lords as prisoners. Soon I'll have... If I don't... The thing is... I'm thinking about maybe I shouldn't release any of them. Sooner or later, I guess they have to make peace then, but the question is, of course, that it's gonna hit heavy on my honor. And if that's gonna detract from my character.
beg your pardon. After last scrap, I was slicing over the guts of some foes, checking for hidden gold. As a girl who can count their pennies on, he gagged and muttered that I was an animal. And look at that, don't fight with him. We have quite a lot of prisoners in town. Uh, 200 of them. Oh wait, that's... No, this is the company. I thought at first maybe these are the prisoners. Let's see if there's anyone in town that we can sell it to. Ransom broker. The town I have... Let's just check. So right now... I have 21,000. When I come back and I've sold everything. Let's see how much money I have as well. And so I managed to sell all of them. And I've managed to... This is actually after I upgrade my entire party. Uh, which probably cost me uh, 10,000 or something like that. So 57,000. And I still got a lot of kings and stuff. Stuffed in there And I think we're gonna go ahead even though it will probably you know kill my honor rating But we will no longer be releasing Any lords whatsoever Nope I will not be releasing you you will rot until uh, until you die, possibly. Recruit cavalry and over to Orleans. And then back over to the castle. Oh, look at that, an English army. How quaint. Maybe I should see about actually defending the castle from these English... Nope. They decided that uh, we're rather skedaddle. Have the king given this... Given any thought of who he's going to give this town over to? Ah! They attack us! To the defense! They've broken the wall! Why don't you use... Oh wait, she actually does. Those throwing knives are actually special throwing knives she has. Which does a hundred damage uh, on impact. Damn, what the hell did he have? I wanna steal whatever weapon he has. That thing he had on his back, that huge, huge black, huge black um, halberd. That's precisely what it was. Pour down on those English bastards. See, I have some troops over there, troops stationed over there. Maybe we should let them in. Archers, I want you to gather down there. Just see what happens if I if I let. I actually maybe that's not a, such a good idea. Thinking about it, since they've got a hell of a lot of archers. Archers, to the front again. Okay, maybe not that close up to the front. Yeah, there's a lot of English archers down there. But I think, since I have so many people actually in prison, 
we should quite easily. You know, I've been thinking about this thing or this and that hook on the end. If that meant as I guess it's meant as a weapon. If someone comes close, you can use the hook rather than something which probably is quite useful just having that to bash someone in in heavy armor. I don't think, yeah, peasant archers are getting killed up there. All the archers move away! Yeah, now we're seeing uh, the death toll rise on the enemy side. We have lost 20 men though on our own. I'm not entirely sure why I'm losing so many men in this episode. So many people are dying. But we may I think we're making headway. And now when I'm not selling the lords, sooner or later, ultimate victory will be ours. Paris will be released from those bastardly British bastards, English pig dogs, sausage eaters, uh, roast beef stuff. So, I managed to actually not only defend the castle, but we, I got it personally. Wait, is it under siege again? No, that, I think that's a lingering siege. But it still says under siege, although I, I broke the siege. So I broke the siege there, I took a guy prisoner and they gave it to me. So I stationed men there. I went back here to recruit some more troops. Um, which I did, quite a lot of them. And uh, Joan of Arc, I'm gonna show a castle, which I got a message that she is besieging, she's besieging Tours. But, in the middle of all of this, uh, Burgundy comes again, and they go to attack Dijon. Which I do not like. And once again you get to see I guess a bit of this. Where I run around. And uh, try to put out flames. They actually ran from me. When I came up here. Which is the most important one to defeat. Their leader. Gulimon. The fourth of Vienna. I'm not sure. Surrender or die, you cut. Ah, oh, it's one of these battles in the forest. Uh, archers hold back. The rest just charge up. We ran into the Burgundians in the forest just outside Dijon, and a heavy battle ensued. Traitorous French people, Gandian lords. Maybe I shouldn't have dismounted. Look at all the green, though. The thing is, we're both wearing sort of the blue and the yellow, which makes it a bit messy here to see who's who. Here, I can clearly see that these guys are part of the Burgundians, since they wear the Burgundian Lord's uh, his crest, and they're not just got the sort of Burgundian colours. Slaughter them! 
the begonias are being absolutely slaughtered here in the forest outside the Dijon. Looks like we've caused the rout. Damn it. I was hoping that I would be the one to shoot the last bastard. We lost nine men. And we took out... I think all of them, maybe. No, 85 left. Everyone charge! <laughs> nice and easy pattern that guy had. Just uh, nine dots on his. Stand still, you bastard. There we go. It's an absolute slaughter. Oh, you're one of ours. There was much glory on this field today. We smashed through the enemy. We took more Burgundian lords prisoners. I think it's safe to say that we won't see a lot of the Burgundians after this. Which means I can start planning on going against Montargis. And then after that, we will lay siege to Paris. The question is if I have uh, time in this episode to go ahead and attack uh, Montargis. The thing is, I think you have to. Uh, what's it called? You have to build a siege tower to attack that. Also, I've recorded for quite a long time, even though I had to re-record parts. And I had, uh, I cut parts here and there. Might be a long episode, but with a lot of good battles. And unlike other times, I feel as though we're actually sort of getting somewhere right now. Uh, and we are hol we're holding Chartres. We hold so many of their lords captives that they probably can't really move anywhere. The English still looks like they have quite a few lords, but all the others, I think, have taken quite a few, uh, especially since they're a much smaller factions it seems compared or the Burgundians have really shrunk if you give the fact that they held Dijon uh, on all of this which they held before the English actually held Orléans as well and a lot of other places but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully I see you guys for the next one bye